is Dolce Sharma. I am working as a clinical instructor in RPI IIT College. Today we will discuss about the topic rights of administration of drugs. Nurses have unique role and responsibility in medication. Administration in that they are frequently the final person to check to see the medication is correctly prescribed and dispensed before administration. It is standard during nursing education to receive instructions on a guide to clinical medication administration and upholding patient safety known as rights or 10 rights of medication. These 10 rights ensure safety giving drugs. Right client, patient, right drug, right dose, right time, right method, right patient education, right documentation, right to refuse, right assessment, right evaluation. Right client, read the physician's orders to make sure for whom the medication is ordered. Read the client's name on the client's chart on the medication medicine card. Call the client by name and ask him to repeat his name. By Be careful if the client is deaf or otherwise does not understand your language. Read the physician's orders to study the correct name of the drug. If the order is not clear, consult the physicians or at least seniors to make sure the drug is copied correctly on the medicine card on the nurse's record or not etc. Select the right drugs for the cupboard. Read the label of the medicine container and the say and the name of the medicine in the medicine card thrice. Before taking drug from the shelf before measuring it. When returning the container to the shelf and before removing the hand from the container. Look for the color, order, consistency of the drug. Unusual characteristics of the drug should be questioned. Administer medicine only from a clearly labeled container. Avoid conversation or anything that distracts the mind. Be familiar with the trade names. If there is a doubt, consult the physician or at least senior or medicines book. Avoid accepting verbal orders. Verbal orders should be accepted only in emergencies, but it should be written on the chart as early as possible. Always identify the client before giving medication. Make sure that the drug has not been discontinued by the physician. Right dose. Read the physician's orders to know the correct dose. Consider the age and weight of the client. This may help to find an error in the physician's order. Know the minimum and maximum dose of medicines administered. Calculate the fraction of dosage correctly. Measure accurately. Use ounce class instead of teaspoons to measure ounce. Have the medication card or written order in hand before you prepare the drug. Avoid conversation or anything that distracts the mind. Consider how many tablets or capsules are required for the dose. Know the observations and symbol used. Make sure that the medicine glasses are dry before pouring or measuring the medications. Hold the ounce glass at the eye level and place the thumb at the mark up to which the medicine is to be poured. Read the loger meniscus of the fluid level when measuring the fluid medications. Help the client to take all the medication medicine that is ordered for him. This medicine should be carried to the client without spilling it out to the container. Sixth, write patient education. Check if the patient understands what the medication is for. Make them aware that they should contact a healthcare professional if they experience side effects or reactions. Write documentation. Ensure you have signed for the medication after it has been administered. Ensure the medication prescribed correctly with the start and end date if appropriate. Right to refuse. If ensure you have the patient consent to administer medications, be aware that the patients do have right to refuse medications if they have the capacity to do so. Right, right assessment. If check if your patient actually needs the medication. Check for contraindications, baseline observations if required. Right evaluation. Ensure the medication is working the way it should. Ensure medications are reviewed regularly. Ongoing observations if required. Thank you. Right time. Read the physician's orders. Know the hospital routine for the intervals. Give at stated intervals for blood levels. Know the abbreviations for the time, BD, TDS, etc. Give the medication near the time ordered 15 minutes before or after the des designated time. Give the medication as ordered in relation to the food intake. Example before food or after food. Give the medication according to the action expected. Example sleeping pills are given at bedtime. The diuretics are given in the morning hour so that the client will not be disturbed in the night. Fifth, right method. Read the physician's order to determine the route of the administration. Dilute the medication if indicated. Know the method of giving drugs, example, oral, parenteral, rectal, etc. Know the abbreviations used to de uh, designate the route of administration, that is IV, IM, PO, or oral. Identify the clients correctly. Stay with the client until he and she has taken the medication. Never leave the, any medication with the client. An error in the medication should be reported immediately. Thank you.